Welcome back guys for another Dokkan Battle video and in today uh, we're just going to be looking at more information that has been revealed for the 350 million download celebration as well as the next celebration for Legends. So first of all we're going to start with Dokkan. So at Air Dokkan has just revealed to us that there will be tickets. Um, at, um, as we know there are going to be tickets because last year there's 300 million download tickets. This year we're going to get 300, 350 million download uh, celebration tickets. But with these tickets um, it appears that you know you can decide whether or not you want to use your uh, treasure item and now this treasure item uh, this item comes from when you summon so basically so we got our tickets right we got our 350 million download celebration tickets and each time that we do a multi summon we get a treasure item and this treasure item we are then able to buy things in the Baba shop that's the way that it works so you know you got a hundred tickets and it's you know five per multi you you get 20 treasure items and then those tr 20 treasure items you're then able to exchange in the Baba shop you know for you know units and so again as you can see here you know you can directly purchase you know like the characters that you're interested in with the tickets you know and there's gonna be a cost difference between the tickets and the characters so some characters are probably gonna cost more than others so again you know thanks to air Dokkan here uh, we got some more clarification on that then we go on to the next tweet. So, also by Air Dokkan, there's going to be a Satan Legendary campaign. As we know, I already covered that in another video. But there's also going to be a Global versus a, a JP campaign. JP campaign on the 28th. Um, so again, it is translated from this tweet. So we should expect a campaign. You know, Global versus JP. Um, you know, as they did it last year uh, as well. And then over here on Global and on the Japanese version of the game, we're going to be getting a new stage for the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. Um, just like last year, I would assume it to be, you know, Majin Buu Saga themed. Um, it could be, you know, two new stages, kind of like what they did last year with the uh, with the Super Warriors versus, you know, the Extreme Warriors. But um, again, yes, we're going to get a new stage for the Infinite Dragon Ball History. And then this story event is going to be coming over to Global. And this... Uh, story event was actually supposed to be released for golden week but seeing as it's going to be boo saga themed uh you know they want you know global to be caught up in terms of the story events so they're going to be dropping this story event pretty soon and um again just quickly going through the story event you know you can farm three characters from this event you can get this goku angel you can get this ultimate gohan and you can get this goten now um again i'm going to cover you know this event you know more in depth in a in well in another video but um again you can just get three units from this a goku ultimate gohan and a goten so again that's going to be coming over to global which is good because again it's more dragon stones for us and so the last thing you know i just wanted to cover was legends so it appears that story events that are going to be returning to legends are the raditz and the legends road kid goku so again if you haven't you know uh Zenkai the Kid Goku, you can go ahead and do that, you know, grinding out his event, getting him up to 14 stars. And so, again, they're going to be bringing this, um, I believe it is uh, Banner back, the uh, Legends Androids, as well as, you know, this is his official uh, Zenkai Awakening, you know, uh, image. And then there's, a, I mean, the next banner that's going to be coming is going to be uh, the one with Piccolo, Goku, and all that. So, again, this is going to be the banner that's going to be returning. And then we're also going to be getting a login bonus. So we're going to get tons of Chrono Crystals and Summon Tickets during the 7-day login bonus. But I believe that is just going to be for, like, new players, I believe. And then, like, just down here, there are more assets, kind of looking at the strike cards, blue cards, green cards, you know, blast cards, you know, with uh, Demon King Piccolo's thing on it. There's going to be new equipment, so this is what it looks like. And then, you know, what basically all of that will look like. So, again, that's going to do for today's video, unless maybe I find something else. No, it appears that that is it. So... Again, we kind of have an idea of what the celebration for 
you know, the Zenkai Awakening for Demon King Piccolo is going to look like. We got a couple banners returning. We got his event returning. Fortunately, unfortunately, we only have like really two, like two story events coming back, which is a bummer. You know, you know, a new story event coming over to Global. Again, I'll cover that in more detail. You know, we got a new stage trip for the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. You know, we're going to have a campaign, and his legendary campaign is going to begin on the 21st. Ooh. And then, you know, the Global versus JP is going to start on the 28th. And then, as you know, we're going to be able to have tickets when we summon. We're going to get uh, some items that we're then able to exchange at the Baba Shop for units. But again, each unit is going to be, you know, a different number of said uh, items. Because again, some units are more valuable than others. So again, guys, that's going to do for today's video. Um, again, you know, this is just some new information that keeps constantly uh, coming out. I'm going to cover, you know, more news as it's coming out just so you, just so you guys are kept up to date. So that's going to do for today's guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.